Hey everyone, SRM Power Meters asked us to make them a crank spider removal tool for some of their power meters. Hopefully it's a quick run. We got it 3D modeled here, so hopefully what it will look like when we're finished up. And we're gonna be making it out of 304 stainless. First time cutting stainless, so hopefully it goes well. I know it's a trickier material, but it's cold, so let's get to it. So I'm gonna move the machine into the low belt position so I can get a little bit more torque. Uh, 304 stainless doesn't like to be cut very fast, so this will let me run a little bit lower while still keeping some torque and being able to take a deep cut. So you just basically just loosen this bolt. Um, the whole thing, the motor will slide. It'll make the belt loose. Then you can just, just manually move the belt to the pulley below it and then tighten things back up and you're good to go. All right, so forgot to film part of the process and starting side two, but it's almost 2 a.m., but we about got these finished up. All right, so finished up the last one of these. Uh, had to come back and start another day because I needed to get some more material after breaking a few end mills. I'm new! I'm new! I don't know what to do! But we've got finished parts, so Pretty happy with how they turned out in the long run. Uh, learning 304 stainless was a bit of an adventure with some broken end mills because I do not know how to program it well, apparently. Um, one cool little thing I did to be able to orient these properly is I made this little 3D printed guide so I can lock that in to the vise. That way I've got the hex oriented in the way I'm looking for. Uh, it seemed to work out pretty well and it helped kind of stabilize things so it wasn't all just resting on two little pins. But got the uh, crank spider tools all finished up for SRM so we'll get these deburred and over to those guys here soon. Did I mention learning 304 stainless was an adventure? It was fun though.